Yeah, that doesn't suck. It doesn't suck at all. Well, cool. Accidentally caught one. <laughs> I'm just stripping line out, getting ready to cast. Not a big guy, but good start. Sweet. So I've had uh, three fish eat my chubby Chernobyl. But none of them like engulfed it. They all kind of, kind of maybe they kind of ate it. I'm not sure, but I didn't hook them anyway. They didn't like annihilate it. So I let them rest a minute, and now I'm coming back with a crane fly, adult on the surface, which worked so well last weekend. Uh, I haven't seen any crane flies yet, but I know they were here last weekend. It's a little early in the morning, but um, I'm gonna give that a go. And if they don't like that one. Oh, there he is, right there. They did like that one, like that one a whole lot. I was going to say, if they don't like that, I'll try something else, but that was cool. Great, great eat there. Great eat. That was way cool. Nice fish, too. Yeah, that's a good solid trout. Very cool. Let's see if he's got friends up there. Put it on 3x so I can put a little pressure on him in this heavy current. Yeah, he's gonna make me chase him down there, isn't he? A little bit. Ah, he's getting away from me. He might back him in a minute if I'm not. Well, I got him. Woohoo! Big ol' head shakes. And don't get me wrong, I don't think he's a giant fish, but he's a darn good fish. And get him over into this slightly slower current. And have a shot at him. <laughs> hey there, big fella. Oh, cool. Let's see. Well, I like it when a plan comes together anyway. That's a pretty nice fish. Come on. No. He went back out into that faster current on me. Yeah. Just keep following him down. He had friends up there that ate that chubby. So, we'll go back up and chase those. That is running at me, which I don't mind too much here. Yeah, I don't have a drop or anything on there. I just feel like uh, sometimes that dropper line really gets in the way of, a, of positive hookups or influences the drift, makes it less natural. So I find that if I'm getting eats on the surface on dry dropper rigging, but I'm missing them on the dropper, sometimes just, or missing them on the dry, sometimes just taking that dropper off will, uh, will get the job done. Solid fish here. Long fight. Come on, buddy. Our water temps are good, but I'm going to have to be done before, uh, probably before noon, noon one o'clock. I'm going to guess. I got to keep an eye on them. We were 65 this morning, which is fine, but it won't take long for it to go up into that 68, 69 degree range, and then I got to be done. You make these poor fish fight in that hot water. Not gonna do it. You know, I still don't know what this is. It's not a brown. I suspect cutthroat. A rainbow. That 
That's a big, big cutthroat. Look at this. That is much larger than I thought. Like I knew it was a good fish, but that's a big fish. That's, he's pushing 24. That's one of the bigger cutthroats I've caught this season. Thank you, Mr. Cutthroat. I really, really appreciate you, buddy. You fought well. You made a good show of yourself. Boy, you ate that really nice. What a great fish, man. I am so grateful for you. trout what a dandy trout you are just one hell of a nice fish Beautiful bug. Oh, there he ate the hell out of it. <laughs> he's still on. Yeah, he's still got him. He's running right at me. Woohoo! I just had to stay patient. I just had to stay patient. <laughs> oh, what a great take. What a great take. Ooh, he had a good fish, too. Big head shakes there. Yeah, this one's gonna take a while. This is a good fish. Yeah. This is a good fish. And a reasonably good place to land it too, so if he doesn't run out into the slightly heavier current out there and we'll be chasing. That might be a really good fish. How did I got him fouled, but I don't I don't know. I don't think so. Oh my goodness, hello there big fella. I think I just had to be more patient about the whole thing. Let him find it. Let him find it. Yeah, he's running at us in this slower water here, that's a good thing. Let's see if we can, I'd like to get a good look at him. He feels really nice. He feels like he might be a pretty big fish. Even if he's not that big a fish, he's sure a fun fish. Boy, he sure clobbered that. Woo! Like a brick fell on it. That was really a cool eat. Rainbow. And not a giant rainbow, just a good feisty rainbow. Yeah. Good feisty rainbow. He fooled me. I thought he was, I thought this might be like a two footer here. There's certainly nothing wrong with him, but just goes to show, man, those rainbows are so hard. Hardest fighting fish in the river. Everybody pays attention to the big browns, and me too. I love those big browns, but these rainbows like this, these like 18 ish inch rainbows, boy, they fight hard. That's a really good looking clean fish right there. chest here so we can kind of really appreciate him. Wow, great trout there. Wonderful trout there. Very cool. So I caught a crane fly on the surface of the water here. And here he is with my fly pattern and I mushed him a little so my size is pretty good but look at those wings my wings are completely wrong completely wrong everything else with that fly is okay those wings are dead wrong 
we'll fix that. We'll feed a trout there, green fly. So, had one eat the crane fly. And not a great big fish, but a good fish. But it, I, uh, he helped me remember a lesson that I've learned some time ago uh, that I think is really kind of valuable. And that is, and you'll see, I'm not in the water, I'm on shore. Never walk in the water, it's unless you absolutely have to. You make a lot more noise in the water. And this fish was sitting, I don't know if you can see it. See how shallow that water is? I mean, he was in less than a foot of water on a, on a seam. And if I'd been waiting, I'd have, I'd have blown him. I'd have walked right where he, he was. So one, a lesson I've learned the hard way for me anyway is uh, never get in that water if you don't absolutely have to. It's tempting because you want to get them. Uh, it, you like it's nice to have the line in the water. It doesn't tangle up and stuff as much in the weeds. Uh, it feels good on your feet and all of those things. But, uh, but and you do blow you blow fish that you could otherwise catch. Not a big fella, but not a little one either. I'm grateful for him. Hey, buddy. Thank you so much. Found another one. I'm in this slow water. Here I had to wade to get to where I could cast at this fish. That didn't seem to come up as blind fishing, but he, uh, in any case, I reminded myself, walk really slow, really quiet. It's so easy to wade too fast and too loudly and scare fish when you're all excited because you know it's a good place or, or what have you. And this is a nice trout here. Another cutthroat. But, he ate that crane fly again. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to play with that fly and get it to look even better. I don't think the fish seem to like it okay. I don't know that I'm missing too many of them. Uh, not sure, but just fun project at the vice, really. Just find a brown trout today and a white fish, I'd have my slam. To get the white fish, I'll have to go to a nymph. Brown trout might eat this. But I am not going to stop fishing a big dry on the surface <laughs> just to get the slam. That's <laughs> not, uh, this is too much fun. They stop eating this all together, I feel like it's done, then I'll... Ooh, wait, swam right into the net for me. That was very nice of you. Thank you, sir. That fly is going to need a little love. Ooh. Hey there, handsome fella. Yeah. Thank you. Sweet. I say sweet every time, don't I? <laughs> Whoa! Look at the size of this dude. That guy's a lobster. Those would hurt if they got a hold of you. Watch this. Well, nymph one up anyway under the chubby. Wind is starting to blow pretty good. I'm not sure which fly he took. If he took the Frenchie or that crayfish I threw on. Cool. Oh, I hope that's on the video. That was a cool jump. <laughs> that was a cool jump. Let's see. It's a nice rainbow. Yeah. Coming up here shallow for me.
Yeah, you took my crayfish pattern. So good. Wondering if that thing was going to work. I was fishing a mop fly for a while there just to see if uh, these fish would take the larval form of that uh, crane fly. But boy, nothing touched it. And as soon as I put this guy back on, uh, they ate it. So, or he ate it. I had another one that I think was a hit. I'm not sure, but I think was a hit. Might be able to beach this dude right here. Good rainbow. Come here. Come here, handsome. Cool fish. Cool fish. Here we go. We got shallow. Slow water here. We can get him landed and released in. Hey there you. Yeah, that's a heck of a good rainbow there. Great. Great fight out of that guy. Oh, right on the top of the nose. One fly the dropper in the anus. Sorry about that, buddy. Finally got one hooked on the chubby. <laughs> Not a big guy, but fun to get him to eat it. He ate it once, maybe the same fish. And I missed him, and I thought, I'll give him one more go. I'm not sure it was the same fish or not, but anyway. Cool to get him. Chubby Chernobyl eat. They've been missing that thing more than, more than getting it. Everybody. A little trout. Cute little guy. Thank you, sir. All right. <sighs> Sandwich time. Mountain Dew. Cookie time. Got an awful windy. Woo! So I changed location now that I'm all full of nourishment. And, uh, this rock that I like to stand right next to the little oh, uh, the landmark for what I like to do. I thought, I wonder if there's a fish in front of it. <laughs> sure enough, there was. So, yeah, and a nice fish too. Nothing wrong with this guy. We can get a bit in here. <laughs> that was fun. That was pretty cool. Yeah, worth the walk in here. Met this really nice couple from Colorado who were just sightseeing. It was really fun to talk to them. Yeah, here's the here's the rock he was right in front of. He made me walk down here to where there's a little slacker water. Looks like he's got my chubby Chernobyl all screwed up. Or I screwed it up. Come here. Oh, he's foul hooked. I didn't believe it when it went down. I thought I hit the rock and it came back. Ooh, that's a serious wind right there. He's looking cutthroat. Oh, look at the spots on his head. It's kind of cool. So, I guess he doesn't really count, but spots on his head. Pretty cool. All right. Thank you, Mr. Cutthroat. All right. So this wind has made casting a dry dropper rig sort of a soul-sucking experience. It's You can get it done, but it, I just it's hard to mend. 
uh, and uh, hard to cast. So I'm going to go with this bright pink indicator because why not go with a bright pink bobber? And I'm going to go with about four feet, maybe four and a half feet to a chunk of 3X. And then a Wonderbug, a.k.a. a tungsten surveyor with a little soft tackle on it. To a little Waltz Worm, which hasn't produced anything yet today, but I believe in him. To a little number 18 Frenchie, which again, hasn't produced anything, but I believe in him. When the going gets tough, put on some little bead-headed stuff and bomb the riffly bottom. Let's see what happens. William Williamsonii, for those of you who speak Latin, in case any Romans happen.